Good morning, everyone. I would like to begin by acknowledging that our class lost something really special this year. And no words will help us get it back. Certainly not mine. But this speech isn't about what we lost because that is not what defines our class. This is about remembering the time we had, reflecting on our experiences, and in many ways, mourning that our time at Mercersburg is over. Over the course of my three years at Mercersburg, I've often heard people talk about the concept of a Mercersburg moment. Honestly, I've never really understood that idea. What this place means to me can't be summed up by one moment. Nor do I think that the big moments, like Step Songs, Paint the Numbers, or Irving Marshall Week, necessarily represent the best times we've spent here. It's the little moments that defined us. It's the time I spent in Culbertson, when everyone would gradually return to the dorm by 11 on a Friday night. Someone was always late and would yank at the locked door at 11.01. Then, the ten of us would gather around a four-person table to talk, even if only for a few minutes, over a pint of Ben and & Jerry's. And the Saturday nights, when we were so bored, and would then spontaneously run back to our dorms, grab our speakers, and throw a dance party on the Lofo patio, belting out every line of every 2000s throwback song we knew. Or, when I'd jump on my couch, bury my head in my pillow, and just cry after a long day when everything seemed like it wasn't going my way. It's the bus ride home after winning a Maple game. As is tradition for the girls lacrosse team, we would sing the national anthem off key and disjointed, followed up by our classic rendition of hotel room service. All of the laughing and hysteria would then quickly die down as we drifted off into a deep sleep usually sprawled out in the aisles and on top of one another. It's the hours I spent at the duty desk in South Cottage, crammed together in the tight hallway, leaving no room for anyone to walk by, and talking with whomever had just fobbed in about the latest Mercersburg drama or Harry Styles' new album, or even deep questions about life and our beliefs. The power of this place is how it has brought all of us from all over the world together to create these memories. Although Mercersburg has provided us with a first class education, it's the people that made our experience at Mercersburg so important. The people are why I call Mercersburg home. I've created true friendships here. It would be impossible to become bored by my friend's company, our antics and our conversations. I spend every waking hour with my friends, but it still doesn't seem like it was enough time. I've also learned so much from my teachers here. Yes, I learned a lot in the classroom, but more than anything, they taught me about myself. They gave me confidence and inspired me to do more than I ever dreamed I could. They challenged me and pushed me, sometimes so much so that I felt totally out of my comfort zone. But in the end, it has only deepened my love, gratitude, and appreciation for them. Leaving the people is what makes this so hard. While we all have promising futures ahead of us, I still feel a great depth of sadness and unease when I think about leaving for good. We are all ready to leave Mercersburg, but that does not mean we feel ready. I certainly don't. We've had it pretty good here, and whatever lies ahead for us won't be the same. In the years ahead, memories from the time you spent here will creep back into your mind, whether when you glance down at your class ring, when you hear that one song that belonged to you and your roommate, or when you throw on an old Blue Storm t-shirt. Allow those fond memories to pull you back to this place and to the people here. Think of Mercersburg often and never lose sight of how lucky we are to have spent our high school careers here. We will always have Mercersburg to return to, and we shouldn't forget that. To Mrs. Titus and the younger classes, please take care of this place for us. Keep it strong, keep it unique, 
and keep it special. And to the members of my class, the class of 2020, thank you for making these the best three years of my life. I truly believe that 50 years from now, I will still be able to say that same thing. I love you all. I miss you all. Take care of yourselves. And I look forward to being back together on campus sometime soon. Thank you.